Hi, hello everyone. Uh, this uh, this is Samasam, assistant professor, SNS College of Technology. Uh, thanks for the previous uh, support in the videos. Uh, today we are going to discuss about that new topic uh, in the introduction to robotic system. Uh, this is uh, unit three uh, when compared to the previous sessions. Uh, so this is uh, to understand the basics of uh, how the robot finger mechanism and robot actuation mechanisms are the different things we are going to discuss in this topic. Um, so this is an actuator for robotic systems. Um, in this unit, uh, we are going to discuss about the end effectors, what is the classification of end effectors and, um, and what are the types of mechanical actuations in end effectors and the different type of robotic drive systems. Uh, normally drive and types of type systems and position and velocity feedback devices uh, uh, robo joints links and t and its different types motion interpolation these are the various topics we are going to discuss in the upcoming future videos um, especially is in, uh, uh, in next upcoming three videos we are going to discuss about the uh, drives up to drive systems uh, how it has been placed in vital load in robotics item so end effectors is a peripheral device uh, that is attached to the robot end or wrist uh, allowing the robot to interact with to perform a certain task um, so as i said that uh, th there can be uh, tools uh, it may be a tool uh, to either various application of spot welding or arc welding and the painting etc or either it may be a gripper to hold a material or to pick a place a material from one place to another place or lift the materials this uh, tool a gripper can be done otherwise uh, the grippers either in a different ways one is a mechanical and it can be a magnetic or it can be a vacuum based gripper or it can be a bellow type grippers so based upon a different applications uh, that different type of grippers are used so the normally the robot is with an end effectors is basically upon two conditions one is give uh, tools for doing a uh, performing a certain task and gripper to hold the materials or uh, pick and place the materials. So we are go with the grippers uh, used for material handling, right? It is of two types. One is unilateral, and another one is multilateral. So unilateral by using a vacuum uh, or uh, pick the object by using without any gaps. But in multilateral, the position change will be obtained. If first is deflated, then we have inflated in the media air, then we can pick the object or take remove the objects. We will deflate the subjects. So this is how the grippers are placed in vital roles in this industrial sector. When I say that uh, used for materials, mechanical grippers like uh, the first and foremost one is a linkage actuation. So there is a different type of uh, linkage actuations has been done around it to pick and place robots. So the end effector is FG. Uh, this is a friction to grasp the materials. The different four type of uh, linkage and actuations has been shown in the figure to understand how it has been picked and how it has been generated right now. So and similarly when gear and rack, you know, as you can see there is a two gears and there is a rack, right? So the guide rail is also there. When the rack is pulled back, sorry when the gear has been uh, rod gear rod has been uh, pulled back the rack moves the guidelines get closer to one another then the object has been pressed into a whole position and get hold and when the is it has opened the rack position so the guide is placed in vital load and drag gear and rack actuation system similarly when you go for a uh, mechanical grippers uh, the cam actuated mechanism is one of the key uh, elements where used to hold the materials uh, the cam profile is kept at the um, uh, left hand side of that where this object when you see that the cam and the follower has been kept up and down side when we pulled the spring gets de-energized and it shrinkages into a lowest portion and finally the fg holds the position of the objects and uh, when we release the cam the spring get expanded and the object will be released similarly the screw type actuation mechanisms right uh, well, when you say this grip type, screw type organization scripters, uh, when the screw is uh, holded or uh, tightened together, the positions get close to one another. So it means used to grasp the object while the screw has been done. Once the screw has been released easily, the material holding has been released simultaneously to attain the certain position. So this is how the mechanical grippers place in mitral load. In the next class, um, 
I hope you have understood something about how the linkages has been done and how gear and pinion, cam actuator and screw actuations. Yes, for we have discussed about the mechanical gripperism. Now in the next video, we are going to discuss about the other type, other form of gripperism, what we have said in bellow type, magnetic, um, pneumatic, uh, how the materials has been used and how the grippers has been working are going to discuss in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. This is Samasam, Astronaut Professor Residence College of Technology. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.